Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Elements 11 training video course. And in this video, we're going to go over creating DVDs, Blu-rays, and web DVDs. Now, um, before we actually get in and start doing stuff inside of uh, Premiere Elements, I want to give you a quick overview of the three types. DVDs and Blu-rays are both discs. Um, everyone, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen a DVD, everyone's seen a Blu-ray, their little shiny little disc. A web DVD is kind of like a regular DVD or a Blu-ray. And what it is, is they will go to your site and it is as if they're loading that disc into a player. And they can use, you can use menus and buttons and uh, it'll play video and audio and whatever you, whatever you could put on a DVD or a Blu-ray, you could put on a web DVD. So that's what that's actually for. So if you want to, um, upload a version for your client to see before you actually burn it onto a disc, you can put it on a web DVD and they can look at it and go, Hey, change this or change that or go ahead and start burning it. So, when you are coming in and you're making, uh, you're setting it up to make a DVD, uh, you're going to need to start with scene markers. And let me show you what the, what those are. If we come over to Premiere Elements and you look on, on this, uh, little, uh, timeline here, there's these little circles green circles and then there's a red circle here and then there's a blue one here and those are markers that you can set inside of the program to help you make menus and we're going to put one more here so I can show you uh, how you actually make these uh, these markers in here we'll just set this looks like a good spot here so let's we are here at the uh point here I'm we can either uh do it here or we can do it um uh up here a set timeline marker but uh I want to uh right click over here and choose menu marker because we want a menu marker so I'll click on that one and it's going to default to a scene marker, which is what the green ones here are. Now, it can also be a main menu marker, uh, and that's what this blue one is here. Or it can be a stop marker, which is what this red one is here. Uh, scene marker, I'm just going to name it More Swing. And we're naming it here, because when we go in to make our DVD, you will see... Um, later on what that's actually used for and it makes it easier here because we know uh, what's happening in the monitor at the um, uh, the scene marker is when you're going in to make a menu and you have a uh, choose a scene that's what that's for so uh, we're just going to click OK and as you can see, it's pretty easy to put these markers in here. You just come to a spot, you right click and you set menu marker. Um, uh, after you've done all of those, then we're going